In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can create this knockout text effect inside DaVinci Resolve Fusion. So first things first, I'm going to import the footage I'll be using for this tutorial, change the timeline settings, and then just import that into our timeline, and then come over and hit the Fusion tab. Now that we're in the Fusion tab, I'm going to come over, and now with that media in selected, I'm going to come over and hit the background node. And so that's going to create a background node along with a merge node for our media in. And then I'm just going to change the background color of our background node to white. And then with that merge node selected, I'm going to hit Control or Command T to flip the foreground and background so that now our media is showing rather than the background. And then with nothing selected, I'm going to come up and hit the text plus node. And then just drag that down. And then we can drag that into the mask of the merge node. Now in here, you can type whatever you would like, change the font to whatever you would like, and then just make it exactly however you want it to look. And then I'm just going to increase the size from here. And I think that looks pretty good for what we're going to be doing here. So now that's pretty much the bulk of the effect done, but now we can spice it up a little bit by adding some animation. So with that text selected now, we can come up and hit the transform node, and then we'll come forward a little bit in our timeline to about one second, so 30 frames in. And then on the center of the transform, I'm just going to hit the keyframe button, and then drag our playhead back to the beginning, and then move that Y value down until it's just off a of screen. So now with that, we have animate in, but we can make this look a little bit better. So if we come up and hit our spline, and then select that displacement that we have there, and then hit zoom to fit, we can select these two nodes, and then I'm going to hit S to smooth out those curves. And then I'm actually going to take this bottom one here and bring that up. So now it's going to come in really fast and then taper off until it stops. And so that will look like this. And so now another cool effect we can do is I'm going to drag the playhead over a little bit further in the timeline. And then still with that transform node selected, I'm going to come up and hit the keyframe on the size and then go forward quite a bit. I'll go over to about 180. And then I'm going to increase that size quite a bit. So I'm going to increase it by about 30. So now what this is going to do is this is going to fly through our text to reveal the background. And then while I'm here, I'm going to come up into settings of that transform node and turn on motion blur. And so now we're going to get some motion blur with this. And then I'm just going to increase the quality a little bit just to about five just so it smooths out that blur a little bit better. And now we can also edit the splines of that as well. So now if we come over into our spline, we can uncheck the displacement so that we just have the size, hit zoom to fit, and then on this one, we will do the same thing and just hit S on both of those so that it smooths out our curves. And with that, you are done with this effect. So you can see it animate in, stays on frame for a little bit, and then we will fly through that text. Now, if you're using a different word, you might have to animate the center point as well as the size so that you fly through a certain letter. Thankfully, with this word, we just are able to fly through that E, but you might have to keyframe the center point as well while you're doing the fly through. But that pretty much does it for this video. If you guys like this video, please consider liking and subscribing. If there's something you want me to cover, let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys have a great day. See ya.